Welcome to Toledo Clinic TV. Thank you for joining us. Our guest is Dr. Sadia Mushkbar, and you are a hospitalist. Mm -hmm. What exactly is that? That's a, a relatively new specialty. It is. Um, it has been evolving in past few years, and that's actually a very good question. Just recently, I've been asked by somebody that what, what do you do? What is a hospitalist? Actually, um, hospitalist is a speciality, a medical speciality that is dedicated towards taking care of hospitalized patients to provide comprehensive care to patients who are in the hospital. Um, <clears throat> a hospitalist could be a physician practitioner who could be either board certified in family medicine or could be board certified in internal medicine. Or it could be non-physician practitioners like physician assistant or nurse practitioners. Our goal is to provide high quality, high value, accessible care. There was a time, like you just said, it's a newer speciality. Um, most primary care providers in earlier years they not only see patients in outpatient, but when the patient when their patient get admitted to the hospital, they follow them in the hospital also. But with the ongoing changes in medicine, it has been increasingly difficult for them to be available both in the hospital and in the office at the same time. And it's important that um, for patients who are in the hospital, somebody is available for them. And that's what a hospitalist does. Um, we don't not only um, provide uh, care to the patients, like diagnosis and treatment for them, but our role is collaboration between subspecialities, collaboration between the primary care doctors and other subspecialities, and also we work on smooth transition between hospital, um, when they're transitioning from hospital to the community, like going back home, or even when they are transitioning to post-acute care facilities. So you see a variety of conditions. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Yeah, give us an example of, of what a typical day might be. Um, a typical day, um, usually, um, there are different scenarios. Some places, it's like a shift work, like a um, hospitalist starts at 7, and their shift ends at 7. Um, some places, it's um, uh, they come in, at their own pace, they come in, they round on their patients, but then they take call for their patients. So usually, um, we are on for our patients if we are during daytime from seven to seven. Um, we come in, um, we look at um, how many patients we have and uh, how many doctors and um, physician assistants or um, nurse practitioners are, and we kind of divide patients among ourselves and we start rounding on them, talking to them, seeing what's going on, what needs to be done, how we can collaborate care. An important aspect is to start working from day one on their transitioning, whether it's home, um, nursing home, like I said, post-acute care facilities. So that's how our usual day goes by, and it goes pretty busy. I'm, I'm sure you stay very busy. <laughs> yes. what, um, what would the typical patient be like? Somebody who is in the hospital for a long period of time, or somebody who's just in for uh, what would be a relatively routine treatment? Or does so, it matter? Actually, um, I would like to say that um, a hospitalist is a primary care provider for hospitalized patients. So it's very much like any primary care provider. We see everything. Whatever comes, um, you can name it. It could be um, chest pain. It could be MI. It could be heart failure. It could be atrial fibrillation, which is a uh, rhythm abnormality, any type of lung problem, that could be respiratory failure, or just simple pneumonia, or a COPD, acute COPD exacerbation, and asthmatic, who's not breathing well and need to be hospitalized, any type of infection, simple urinary tract infection, to full-blown sepsis, um, altered mental status, seizure, um, stroke, anything and everything. So it's a specialty. Being a hospitalist is a specialty, but you really have to be well-versed mm -hmm. in everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like I said, it's not just only like, I mean, we, we are there. We are actually 
the first person on the door, we greet them in the mm -hmm. ER when they come in, and then we get appropriate subspecialist on board, and then we work in collaboration with them. All right, that's good information. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining us today. Sure, right. thank you. We'll be right back.